The Eagle House is located in Burley Heads. We're so close to the beach here, um, prominent headland. There's always plenty of things to do. My name is Justin Humphrey and I'm the director at Justin Humphrey Architects. The brief from the client, they wanted a robust family house, something that was quite materially rich, something quite tactile and warm. At the same time, they were looking for something different. The clients were really keen to use concrete in the house. They were also very adamant that they didn't want it to feel cold and clinical. So for us, it was about sort of showing the, the sculptural nature of concrete and the fact that it can actually be soft and beautiful and actually guide you through a project. Climatically it helps as well. In summer it's quite cool underfoot and in winter it absorbs that sun and, and becomes almost like a heater inside the house. When you're inside the Eagle House you realise that there's, there's a lot of dark window openings, uh, there's a lot of framing of views which is quite intentional, so the, some of the dark ceilings act to sort of reduce the scale of the house and really sort of focus views outside to the landscape. The pool is on the northern edge of the block. It becomes a sun trap all throughout the year. There's a timber painted trellis on one end. You can see the sun lounges under there. There's nowhere else you'd want to be in summer. You've got large glass doors on the back which can push open completely and it essentially joins the external deck, the living space is inside. You've got the hardwood floor which carries from inside to out, the ceiling lining inside to out as well. So there's been a lot of Australian hardwoods used throughout the project, both on the floor and in the sculpted curved battens on the wall. And so they basically add warmth and they help offset the raw materials with the concrete and the darker surfaces. We've managed to cut a, a void on the northern side which really does allow that northern light to fight deep into the, the living spaces. Part of allowing that light to come in from above was the decision to include a perforated mesh bridge, which leads to the master bedroom. You sort of transcend across this double void and you connect it to the gardens beyond and then retire to your bedroom. Those darker colours move their way through the ensuite as well. It's offset by some beautiful Australian hardwood detailing. And then there's also some of the soft sculptural curved elements in the ensuite. Given that we are connected to essentially three streets, privacy is a really key thing. So all the windows in the house, their locations have been considered and thought through in regards to curating some views out into the garden and beyond. And also to really sort of control the privacy for the owners inside the house. As a local Burley Heads, I will pass the project quite a lot. I think one of the things I love is that we've been able to put forward an alternative of a built response to climate something that sits really comfortably in its, in its suburban context. But it, it's something else, it's something different.